Hello. It's some dust or something. I'm here today to talk with you about the Bars Boldia and Path of Titans. And to help me demonstrate the Bars Boldia, I have Gaia here, which is my adult Bars Boldia. She is rocking a cool marble skin right now. I put out a poll today asking what showcase I should do next, and I was really happy when I learned Bars Boldia 1 because this is a really important dino, a really cool dino with a lot to talk about. So I'm really happy about that. And I, I put another poll out there asking if you guys wanted me to talk about subspecies and build recommendations. So when you're talking about Bars Boldia, there are three ways to uh, pick it as far as subspecies goes. There's balanced, there's plus defense minus speed, and there's plus speed minus defense. This is a plus defense minus speed, and I am also running thick scales. So this is a double defense bars. And I run double defense bars for a very good reason, and that's going to have to do with the raw stats. See, Bars Boldia has the highest health pool in the game with 1,500 health. That is 50% more than all of the other Apexes. It also has 7,000 weight, which is tied with Tyrannosaurus and Spinosaurus for first place in weight in the game, which if you don't know how combat weight works, that basically means anything that weighs less than you, in this case, almost all the dinosaurs in the game, they're going to be doing less damage to you, and you're going to be doing more damage to them. So that's really huge. Uh, you, you put those two things together, and then you add the, uh, the defensive subspecies, and then you add the thick scales, and you are just a monster. And if you look over here... This ability that's cooling down right now, that is actually Bars Boldia's exclusive ability that boosts the defense of itself and its herd for, I think, a minute? Or is it 30 seconds? Hold on. Abilities. Uh, one minute. Yeah, 30 meters for one minute. That That's going to boost your defense and the defense of all of your herd within 30 meters. So, it can boost its defense. It's super tanky. The tankiest thing in the game, bar none. Absolutely. And um, that's why I prefer to run the defensive subspecies, although you're still going to be tanky if you go with balance or even the speed, you're still going to be looking good. Uh, I just prefer to really layer that on and become something that is just a wall for people. Um, the way I run it, if you look down here, it's a little different than other dinosaurs I run. Usually on my left click, I run a front facing attack, usually my bite, my claw, my headbutt, whatever. Uh, in this case, I'm running the tail whip. And then on my right clicks usually the tail, and again, the tail is here, but this is my tail slam. So you may be wondering why I'm running two tail attacks. Um, first of all, the bars does get two tail slots, which is cool. And I'm running both of those because the bars Boldia is particularly strong when you're tail kiting things. That means keeping them behind you and hitting them with that tail. Um, I do run the regular tail whip mostly because the tail slam uses stamina. Um, but they both do pretty solid damage. This tail slam, though, that thing right there is no joke. You hit anything with that, it is going to feel it. Especially if you're tail kiting the right way, you're going to be hitting its head. It's going to be hitting your tail. It's going to be doing less damage, and you are just going to rip it apart. So that's why I run it like that. And then I do have a bite on my one there, just to uh, cover all my bases there. You do have the option to run a headbutt in your head slot. I choose not to because it does use stamina, like the tail slam, like the rally call. The bars, um, it, it can be fine without stamina, um, but it's really stronger with it. That tail slam is your bread and butter, and the rally call uses stamina. Um, but the good news is, bars is actually pretty good with stamina as far as apexes go. If we go and look at its stamina stat here, we are looking at 150, which is tied with Tyrannosaurus. It is more stamina than Spino, Dinocurus, and Eotriceratops, with a drain of 2.5, which is less of a drain than T-Rex, Spinosaurus, and Eotriceratops, and only slightly more than Dinocurus, which means you are tied with having the most stamina out of the Apexes, and you are second place in stamina drain. And your stamina regen is 0 0.63, which is third place. So as far as stamina goes for an Apex, you are looking pretty good. Um, this is, like I said, a double defense bars. And you can see I'm not necessarily slow either. Like this is an okay speed, especially for something with thick hide and a minus speed subspecies. So um, 
all that taken into account, I'll show you how quickly the stamina refills real quick. Going to sleep, and it, it climbs pretty steadily. It's nothing to write home about, but it does what it's supposed to do. It's pretty good, like I said, especially for the apexes. Um, finally, my call's off cooldown. I, I tried to shoot this video before, and I had to do a second shot, so I'll, I'll demonstrate that real quick. So whenever you want to boost the defense of yourself and your herd, you pop this call. Boom. For a whole minute, you're good to go, and it really doesn't even use that much stamina. Neither does the tail slam, but, you know, uh, I prefer having options that um, help to conserve whatever stamina I can. Um, let's talk about what this thing's good and bad for. Um, you are an apex, which means you're fairly slow unless you're sprinting, and if you're sprinting everywhere, you're going to have to stop every now and then. I already went over, as far as apexes go, uh, it's really not that bad with stamina conservation. You're actually not even that bad of a swimmer. You're probably the best tail kiter in the game if we're not talking about Anno, or you could make the argument for Lambio, but that tail slam is what really puts it over the top. That thing hits like an absolute truck. Um... I mean, when it comes to fights and matchups, you should be fine against anything that isn't an Apex, and even the Apexes, I would say the one um, that that would be a little difficult would be like the EO, mostly because uh, they're going to be taking that reduced damage to the head, but if you're tail catting correctly, you're going to be doing extra damage uh, anyway and taking less to your tail, so um, as long as you can... Uh, tail kite pretty well, you know, keep those things behind you. Your turning radius really isn't bad, especially if you're going with the, um, the double defense like I am. It's not bad at all. It's not hard to keep things behind you and really punish them. Um, oh, I see a little meg over there. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is a hard grow. This is a dinosaur that I think I've died the most growing this bar's Boldia out of anything I've tried to grow before. And I've grown a lot of things here on official. It's just, um, it's pretty slow, and if you're going to grow one, I would definitely have a herd with you. It's hard to defend yourself when you're smaller. Once you start putting some size on, you're a serious threat. Um, I've been ganked a few times by groups of Rexes and things like that, but honestly, once you're an adult, you're actually a really good cornerstone for the herd, a really good basis for the herd. Um, what else is there to talk about, really? I mean... Went over the stamina, went over the, the battle stats and everything. Um, I guess we will get into the calls and animations here. I already showed you the rallying call, so let's look at the broadcast. Really cool. That carries a long way, too. Here's the heart. The aggro. The surprise, the low call, that's why people call it the cow, by the way. To shake it off. <laughs> you do also have a stretch. And a scratch. So, yeah, that's everything for the Bars Baldi on that end. Let's go through the skins real quick. Here's your default, your Longhorn, which is another reason why this thing gets called the cow a lot. The Zebra, which I really like, Tan, Rowan, uh, Midnight, Freckled, Marvel, which is what I'm running now, uh, Bush, Bison, Albino, Melanistic, and Backer. All in all, um, this thing is a really solid Apex. I think it could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the other Apexes and be okay. Obviously, you'd want to watch out for um, Bone Break if you're facing a Rex. Um, but if you can Tail Kite, which you should be able to with that stamina pool, and the range of this tail is no joke, by the way, um, then you should be just fine with the Bars Boldia. Your only problem is going to be groups, and even then, you know, I've been able to fight pretty well against groups of dinos. You know, I'm talking six predators, ranging from... Um, Serratos and Megs all the way up to like Sukos and uh, Dasps and stuff like that. It's whenever you get multiple of other Apexes that things become a problem. Like I died earlier because there was like four Rexes, a Dasp, and an Aloe together. 
and it, you know it as any dino you're gonna have a hard time with that but the bars Boldia, this thing is just a punching bag man like it it can take the damage better than anything else in this game and it can deal that damage out pretty well too if you're good with the tail so yeah that's my thoughts on the bars Boldia. hopefully uh, this video is insightful for you hopefully it helps you out and you enjoyed it uh, thank you all very much for watching and have a good day